What If Season 2, Episode 7 Thoughts. This episode is called What If Hella Found the Ten Rings. Another episode I love. Spoilers of everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. And, yeah, before I get into the specific chronological notes, yeah, I honestly, I kept expecting this episode to have Hella like, revert to evil. I really love that she never did, like legitimately if the circumstances were just different she was capable of of good but in the regular mcu she was never really given a chance to redeem herself and thus yeah you know what happened to to thor happened to her you know really thor could easily have turned out as bad as hella if not for the fact that you know yeah basically odin after Hela, he got the idea, if this happens again, if I see another of my offspring turn bad, I'll, I'll give them a chance to redeem themselves. And, yeah, um, you know, in, in real life, I'm a big believer in, it's about circumstance, it's about, you know, you, you are who you become because of what, you know, happens to you, what other people do to you, or do for you, and, yeah, this, yeah, really excellent exploration of that here. So, yeah, so to get into the, the chronological notes, yeah, we open with her being cast out like Odin did to Thor. And, yeah, when Wu comes upon the the helmet, the, the crown, I guess they called it. And... Yeah, we do the the thing of her realizing she doesn't have yeah, she doesn't have the crown anymore, she doesn't have her regular magic either. And I appreciate that then she changes tactics. You know, she first she she gets them to lower their guard so she can get the upper hand, and then she fights without magic, and she's doing pretty decently, but you know, ten rings and all. <laughs> and I like the the thing of, you know, I can't figure out if you're brave or stupid. Both. I think it's both. If, can we just, like, appreciate how amazing Kate Blanchett is? Like, she's just, I've never been bored watching a Kate Blanchett performance. Just 100%, just so, so great. <laughs> and I like her reaction to, you know, she thinks that, when Wu is like proposing and she says you mean to make my prison stay a life sentence you know just so so yeah I kinda get the sense she's not the biggest fan of getting married and let's see yeah she meets Morris and yeah you know, she points out, I can't tell if I'm looking at your ass or your face. And, yeah, Morris takes her to Taolo. Which is just, this This is go-to move. You know, just, yeah. And, yeah. She she trains with the people of Taolo. And I, I like how she keeps, she can't stop thinking about fire knives. You know, how about like fire or or knives knives that are on fire can we can we do the fire knives thing and i love that you know the the um i'm afraid i forget the character's name but you know yeah she, you know she keeps asking hella what is it that you want you know and we see this flashback odin chaining fenrir when hella was just a kid you know, the, yeah, and, and she says she wants freedom, freedom from control, you know, and, and, yeah, like, it's, it's, because in, in the, in the main universe of the MCU, I maintain that it's stupid calling it 999, you know, anyway, the, the, she is this, She basically becomes a tyrant herself, and this is because she was 
you know, she was in part raised to be one, and also because that was, like, yeah, Odin treated her as if, you know, yeah, when he cast her out, when, right, wait, when he banished her with magic in the, in the movies, he was, at the time, a tyrant, which, you know, slightly less so by the time of, of Odin and Loki. So, yeah, you know, that sadly a lot of people who've been abused become abusers themselves. Right, I also quite appreciate, you know, this is technically taking place like thousands of years prior, but yeah, when Wu was around for a really long time, so is Talo and Morris, you know, so all of these, it, it you know, it would be super weird if suddenly, like, Steve Rogers was there, because, like, no, he was, you know, he was around in the 40s and, and then, you know, frozen for a while and such. This is thousands of years earlier, you know. Even even Thor and, and Loki haven't seems yeah apparently haven't been born yet. They're you know they were both surprised when they found out that Hela even existed. And yeah, very cool when Hela and when Wu fight alongside each other against Odin. And I like the thing with you know he. He liked the way she looked in the, in the dress, but he does also like her new look. And she finally gets fire knives. And Odin actually is willing to give the throne to, to Hela. And she doesn't want to just be queen. You know, she, she wants to be a liberator. And yeah, you know, the he, he put the spell on the, the crown, you know. The goddess of death, if she know mercy, you know, yeah, whoever so whoever wields this crown, if she know mercy, will be granted the powers of the, the goddess of death. And, yeah, I do appreciate, you know, Odin, like, because at the end of the day, this was what he, you know, he wanted her to be able to rule when he was no longer able to, and now she's proven that she she could you know and the very last thing in the episode we see is them stopping Thanos from you know adopting as he would put it Gamora which just great and and love the the shot of just you know so so Hela is is approaching love the white armor as well by the way Hela is approaching and and Morris is is flying and, and, like, I think when Wu is, like, using the Ten Rings in order to, to travel, just, yeah, really, just great, yeah. Um, I think that's everything I have to say about this episode. So, the last couple of episodes, you know, seem to be headed towards the, and I think it's actually, it, yeah, tomorrow's episode is 1602, you know, and, yeah, Yesterday's episode was the the uh, let's see that Kahori, you know, yeah, she, you know, and and Strange Supreme. I don't know why I just said Doctor Strange at the end of the last video. Obviously, I know it's Strange Supreme. You know, gets in there. That's yeah. It's it's unclear if the Kahori episode. If that is the 1602 setting, or if there's going to be, you know, but certainly it, yeah, um, and and then the episode before that one, Captain Carter ends with, yeah, Peggy being transported to to 1602. <coughs> um, yeah, that is. What I have for for this one, um, yeah, I really love that. Like, you know, Hela comes across several very powerful people in this, and all of them appreciate her strength. You know, no one just wants to make her a prisoner. No one just looks at her and sees, you know, a, a mindless animal that that can't be reasoned with. All of them 
appreciate that you know this is someone that you could you know this is this is an equal not a lesser you know both Wen Wu and again I'm afraid I simply don't remember her name but um, Shang Chi's mother you know both realize this is someone that could you know because the the yeah um, and and yeah ultimately you know she's finally given a chance to choose her own path something Odin never allowed you know and yeah it, she she self-actualizes love to see it